A quick tutorial on how I pin butterflies. First I use a pin in the upper right abdomen. I usually try not to pin my specimens, but it actually does help hold them down. Um, I like to do all four wings individually because I feel like it gives me more control, but you don't have to do it like this. Um, what I do is I just pin around the bottom and then I pull the top wing down. When you're touching the wings, if you touch them at all, only touch on the top vein where it's the strongest, otherwise you can risk ripping the wings. What I'm using here is just wax paper um, and then holding it down with sewing pins. You want to hold it firmly down on each side so that it's tight enough that the wings won't move but not so tight that it'll cut into them and rip them which does happen um, again you can see I'm only holding that very top vein and when I press my fingers on it I try to use as little pressure as possible um, just placing pins around and then it'll dry for about a week answering some of my most common questions yes butterflies have four wings it kind of shocks me how many people thought they only had two uh, where do I get my butterflies? Well, sometimes I find them, sometimes I raise them, but mostly I buy from conservation farms around the world. These farms raise and breed them instead of capturing and killing them. They support the economy of the communities that the butterflies are raised in, the populations of the butterflies being kept, and provide education tools about the creatures we share our earth with. A lot of them do get released back in the wild to keep populations stable. Um, I personally don't kill the bugs that I use in my art, but let's talk ethics. Even entomologists who do kill bugs don't do it maliciously. The process of scientific inquiry requires close study of these animals, and that requires properly pinning, displaying, and being able to identify what you're looking at, which is why the process of pinning and preserving bugs started. So people ask me a lot, why do you do this? And I'm just going to give an answer from my personal perspective. I pin and preserve bugs because I love them more than anything. Each insect is so unique and different, and even two of the same type of insect are going to have so many differences. They're so stunning and beautiful, and this is an amazing way to be able to showcase how incredible these animals are.